Hi everyone, my name is Mr. Geraghty. I'm subject convener of design and communication graphics. And I'd just like to explain to you today why you should take this subject at Senior Cycle. So a lot of students are unsure of what to do and what subjects they should take. I hopefully will put this in perspective for you. So basically design and communication graphics is a visual language that allows students to develop their spatial reasoning and to communicate ideas using 2D and 3D graphics. This subject would be applicable to a student who is a creative problem solver who enjoys sketching, board work drawing, and digital design. I would often say to a student that you don't have to do this subject, uh, which is technical graphics at junior cycle, to do it at senior cycle. So the students that come into my classroom think outside the box. They look at three different things. Problem solving, learning in a vast variety of ways, and designing your own individual design. The course content, we look at plain descriptive geometry, Communication of design, applied graphics, and computer graphics. Looking at the world that surrounds us, applied graphics, there's uh, five areas that we look at. Okay, dynamic mechanisms, structural forms, assemblies, geologic geometry, and surface geometry. So what will you learn in class? You will create models to understand geometry problems. You will create architectural drawings, computer aid design, computer presentation, design folios, product design elements, freehand sketching, and technical drawing. These all relate from uh, make, making digital artifacts and projects on the computer to understanding the design considerations that we take into a car, an airplane, or a skyscraper. So how will it be examined? This subject is examined in two ways. One, there's a practical project, worth 40% which is done on the computer. Then there's a, an exam at the end of sixth year, which is worth 60% and you have to complete five questions. So looking at the project, last year's one was a drone. So this student looked at the drone and from um, the ones that were made before and his own design, he essentially tried to make one on computer graphics software. So what this looks like is, this is it here. Um, the student looked at it in the sense that you can rotate it, look what way the design elements look at, and uh, understand the basic structural geometry. Okay, so we can explode it, and we can put it back together. So the student really understands how the processes of these products are put together. Okay. So one example of this was design. So how could design af affect someone in society? So one of the things that was happening on Irish roads was cyclists um, were being affected because there were fatalities in cars where accidents were happening. So what someone wanted to do was create a design from a car and incorporating the lights onto a bicycle, a bicycle helmet. Uh, what they did was had the bicycle helmet design, they had the car design, and they infused lights in the front and lights on the back to allow people um, to understand the main to understand the main design elements, but also allow safety for cyclists on Irish roads. This reduced the mortality rate. Okay, so this is how design affects society. So this is their final design, and we can see now on the mannequin how that design comes into realization, which is great to see. And that is already a product being made today. So career prospects. So it looks at all engineering, construction industry, interior design, architecture, building services, quantity surveying, town planning, teaching, property development, and product design. One thing I also say to my students is, if they're building their house in the future, DCG is a great subject to study to understand the design elements of housing. And it also interlinks with the other practical subjects of engineering, construction, um, and applied technologies. So Dermot Bannon is one uh, architect that has done before and when he was in school he always said, he was asked essentially, did you know what you wanted to do after you left school? And he said, no, I didn't know what I wanted to do as a career, but I did know what I wanted to learn in school and slowly but surely my career path found me. So if you enjoyed this presentation and you thought it was applicable for you, I would hope that you will do it uh, next year. Any questions uh, you can ask me and let me know. Very best of luck.